people who made a lot of money by sheer randomness, what's your story? My wife Sant died. She had been institutionalized her whole life and neither of us had ever even met her. We kind of forgot about it for a few months until my wife's uncle emailed her and said she was going to be getting some money. We were like oh, okay, that's kind of weird, but not complaining. Then my wife got a phone call from the uncle one evening. I heard a lot of ums, okays, and geez, wows. Turned out we were getting over $300,000. We were both grinding away making $15 an hour and barely making rent every month, and then boom. Out of nowhere. That ended up being the difference between having a house and not having a house, being able to start a family and not being able to start a family, and having a retirement fund versus just hoping not to get evicted every month. The summer after my freshman year in college I was walking my little 20 pounds dog on a street near my house. A neighbor lady was walking her two dogs who were a husky and some other similar size dog. The husky attacked my dog and in the process I got some teeth marks on my wrist. Since the neighbor's dog started it and the owner obviously couldn't control it I wanted them to pay the vet fees for my dog which was under 500. The guy ended up being a dick about it and my roommate's dad was a lawyer so about a year and a half later I ended up with about 20k. I briefly worked with a guy who was in his late 20s, ex-military. When he got out, a friend of his he served with told him to buy Bitcoin. He bought several thousand worth when it was nothing and forgot about it. When it first started spiking and getting attention on the news, he started looking for the drive because he thought he had some. He did and he had a lot of it. Sold well before the peak. Dude made millions. He had an $800,000 house, multiple high-end cars and came to work a manual labor job because he was bored. Needless to say, he didn't stay long and all he did was show off his money and clock hours not actually working. Playing blackjack while drunk in Reno. I had $300 to waste at the $5 table got lots of free watered down drinks while I was playing so I wasn't paying attention. I have a rule, two piles, one of cash I can waste and another of money I won. I was there for about three hours before I realized I wasn't out of betting money and the dealer had changed four times. Won $4,000 at that table. Paid for the trip and a bit left over. I haven't been to a casino since but I doubt I'd have that kind of luck again. I started an Amazon private label business on a whim in 2015. I made about 25% of the sale in profit after product, shipping, and advertising costs. Sales doubled every month for 6 months June $4,000, July $8,000 August $18,000. September $40,000, October $84,000, November $175,000, December $362,000. I didn't know what to do. I quit my job in January to focus on growing the business, but my time was spent mostly trying to fend off competition copying my listing and posting fraudulent reviews and then lowering my price in the race to the bottom. It went well for a few years, but I never made as much as I made that first December. Lesson learned, arbitrage is in a long-term business. When I was 17 about to turn 18 my mom told me to open a bank account because I was going to get around 500 to 600 from my dad. Opened the bank account, signed the papers she needed me to and got a whopping $15,400 deposited into my bank at 18 years old. Two years ago, 22 at this point, come to find out he gets a huge settlement for a car accident, I think? And get another 15k dispersed over 2.5 years. I don't know if it was back child support or what but I was really blessed. I was celebrating my 20th birthday. Decided to go to the nice casino an hour away from campus with my then boyfriend. We played bingo because that's what I could afford and it occupied some time. We lost. I called my dad, he loves casinos when he has the money to go. He told me to play 3 card poker. I had watched him play before but I didn't know how and was on my last $20 to my name. He told me that would be enough for a hand or two and just give it a shot, the dealer would explain the rules. So I sat at the table by myself. I won. The dealer was really excited for me, but I was pretty clueless. I had a straight flush. Then I just kept winning. People would take the seat in front of me, they would lose, I'd win. Didn't matter. Got two more straight flushes that night and lots of other good hands. I kept betting the minimum, wish I was putting down more. I turned $20 into 3k that night. My dad didn't believe me. My friend's father was gifted an oil pencil drawing in the late 70s. 
his family always assumed it was pretty much worthless and I always joked that it looked like my friend had drawn it as a child. This silly angry stick figure drawing ended up being an unsigned piece of art by Jean-Michel Basquiat. His family did some digging and eventually had it authenticated by the JMB estate before selling it at Christie's auction house for an amazing sum of money. I was absolutely blown away when I learned this. My friend and his family were far from wealthy so to realize they had this unknown treasure just sitting out in the living room for so many years was mind-blowing. My friend's dad's friend. He decided to open an ice business. Hey, everyone need ice. He bought an old warehouse in the ghetto because it was cheap. Government decided to redo the on-ramps to the bridge and needed to buy like one-third of his parking lot, maybe say 20 parking spots worth. He didn't care, he had a staff of like four, never used more than that. I never heard exact numbers but I did hear he got more for those spots, than he paid for the property. I quit a job at a startup that was a mess, and I just wanted to do something relaxing so I took some time of cleaning up an old algorithm I wrote 10 years ago. I told a friend of mine, who told some industry people about it. They contacted me and I got invited to talk about it at a conference and then large companies started getting in touch. So far I have signed one seven-figure deal to license it. It's not random but it feels very random. I'm making more in interest now than I ever have earned holding down a job. The world is not fair. Forgot I had 11 something bitcoins from back in the day left over from buying pizza. Tried to set up a new account to invest in bitcoin since I'd used it before and saw I already had an account. Logged in and wow. Sold it all and made like $7,000. Imagine the feeling knowing it would eventually reach $20,000 per coin. I built a motorcycle, back in 2011. Pretty well all the parts on it, I built. Took it to a few rallies, few shows. Made its way around the internet, some magazines. Had a ton of people ask if I sold this part, or that part. So, I started to. Started in my garage. Sold right about 10,000 parts out of there over the span of two years. Bought a shop, more equipment, started automating my processes. Friend that owns a business that supplies stuff to practically every nuclear plant in the world pops in one day, asks me to design a connector for a surveillance system they sell. Took a day, had the prototype done. Cut out round about 20 minutes on each individual camera installation, and required no tools. They sold a fuck ton of those. Then jumped into radiation shielding. Big effin' money in that. It's been nearly 10 years now. Sell thousands upon thousands of bike parts that I designed and build every year. Travel to motorcycle events all over. Generally have a blast. I'm 31. Pretty well have the financial freedom to go do whatever I want. My great aunt and godmother was a lesbian. Her partner, my auntie Kitty, had been with her since the 1950s, when my godmother moved to New York City to work for as a magazine photographer. Auntie Kitty was disowned by her family when it came out she was with a woman. My godmother died when I was 12 and left my auntie Kitty everything in her will, which made things strained with my dad's family, though my dad and one of his brothers still talked to her. I moved to New York at 18 for school and, knowing no one else in the city, we became close. She was thrilled that I wanted to have a relationship with her and spend time with her and didn't hesitate to think of her as my aunt, even though she technically wasn't. She was legit the greatest, and we spent holidays together and she would come to things I worked on and I knew all her friends and she knew mine. I basically spent a decade with her being like another grandmother to me. As she got older, she'd repeatedly remind me I was the executor of her will, that I was to follow it to a T, and none of her family was to get anything. I got the bulk, my dad and uncle got some and my sister and my nieces a little. I knew the woman had money, she had a vacation home in the Carolinas and a brownstone in NYC, but since they were bought in the 70s, I figured outside of real estate, there wasn't much. I was very wrong, and inherited enough that potentially I wouldn't have to work ever again if I didn't feel like it. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.